Hello my Leo Sagittarius and Aries. Today is March the 10th, 2021. And this is a bonus reading for you guys. So if you're new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and also hit the all button. And with that being said, I'm going to get right into your reading because your cards were popping out. Alright, let's see what's going on with y'all. First and foremost, I see clarity and truth that's definitely coming your way. You're definitely using your intuition to regard the things that are taking place within your life. I feel like, um... Your intuition is definitely on part. Your third eye is definitely open. Whatever you've been working on is definitely bringing blessings into your life. I feel like you to yourself. You're analyzing people, placing things within your life. Using your wisdom. You see the all. Mm -hmm. You're going to come out with the answers that you need. Sometimes you got to get by yourself in order to um, get some answers you need. You don't need everybody putting their two cents in because that can kind of um, confuse you. That's why you need to be by yourself sometimes to think come out with your own answers mm-hmm um the will of fortune is financial increase on the rising for you guys and I feel like you're very guarded at this time and you just have a lot of things on your mind from all over I see your heart is lit up so you got something going on with your heart so it could be a lover's relationship just a lot of things mm-hmm thoughts they just go and I think you need to take time to meditate and breathe Take time for yourself. Camper yourself. There's a partnership that's showing up, you guys. Could be somebody you're going to work with. It could be a new lover's relationship. It could be just a new friendship. I feel like you've been manifesting a lot of things to come into your life here with the magician card. You're on point with that. With your fire signs, you manifest really easily. I do see doors of opportunity opening up. There's a huge offer that's definitely coming your way. Mm-hmm. You've been working extremely hard with this Eight of Pentacles, doing you, and that's a good thing. There's a lot of competition that's definitely surrounding you with the Five of Wands. People coming up against you because they feel some type of way because of what you're achieving, but that's their problem. You have the Seven of Swords. Definitely somebody wants to betray you here. Be careful who you're allowing to your life because everybody's not for you. Like I say, just because they're skinny grinning your face don't mean that they're for you. Somebody's out to do some type of harm to you. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. As long as you know that you got some enemies out there. You know what I'm saying? Stay prepared. Use your intuition. It'll, it won't lead you astray. You see that moon? Mm-hmm. The devil card. Somebody's obsessed with you here. Um, fire signs. It could be a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces individual that's going to come in and make your offer. Um, this person definitely wants to be bounded to you. I feel like this person wants to have sex with you. You're on their mind constantly. They don't think about nothing else but you, fire signs. Mm hmm. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Yep, definitely a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be an air sign of Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius individual as well. Let's see what else is going on. Could be somebody that you walked away from with this Eight of Cups. You walked away from them because you were going on to a different level. They couldn't go on with you. It's not that you didn't love them. It was just that th that cycle was up and you had to move on. I see you have to make a huge decision here. It's time for you to um, definitely use your intuition in regard to whatever the decision is and go ahead and make it because your your creativity is very high right about now mm -hmm. i feel like somebody wants to have a lot of sex with you here too the ace of wands <clears throat> yeah somebody's very attracted to you because of your energy is your aura the three of wands says when your ship is definitely on the rising for something that you created. Your ships is coming in regard to that. This is going to make you extremely happy. This is the Leo card. You could be dealing with the Leo. See, I see change here. I see metamorphosis. This beautiful butterfly. You see that? You're going to be happy in regard to something. Okay, you're happy in regard to your stability that you're bringing. You see these blessings? Mm-hmm. Seeds that you planted, you could see it now. You see growth and prosperity for yourself with the Eight of Swords. A lot of communication. That's air energy all day, every day. I see here somebody wants to travel as well. Celebration is definitely on the horizon, so you could be getting, going to some get-togethers and things like that. You could be dealing with the Leo said the Aries individual, and they could be very much so into you as well. Somebody says that you are their wish fulfillment. 
they've been hoping and wishing for you for a while now. But then on the other hand, you got to be careful what you wish for because you just may get it. You need to make a head of a hard decision in regard to someone. It's time for you now to use that intuition and go ahead and make a decision about something because you can't stay just stagnant in one place in regard to something. Time for you to birth out something new and exciting. Stand in your strength. Trust and believe in yourself that things are going to work out for you. Mm -hmm. Defend yourself at all costs with the seven of wands because people are definitely going to be coming up against you. I see you being very victorious in regard to that. The universe is not going to let you down in regard to that. You have your angels, guys, Arishas, ready to fight for you. All you got to do is ask if you need the assistance. Angels, Arishas, guides, and ancestors. The moon card, you could be dealing with a cancer individual. See, your intuition is very much so on point. That full moon. There's another owl right here. It's that they're telling me that you're very wise, very intuitive. Sometimes you could say things and then it just happened. You'd be like, damn, I just said that. Or you could think something and then the next thing you know, that happens. You know what I'm saying? So you're good at manifesting. So you got to be careful what you say and what you speak because it just can come just that fast. Scorpio card all day, every day. Endings but new beginnings. Somebody is changed so much. They're like the phoenix from the ashes. You're shining brightly too, fire signs. You're the metamorphosis into something. And people can't help but to look at you. Look at the golden feathers on this phoenix. Yeah. Somebody can't keep their eye off you. And it could be a Scorpio because this is the Scorpio card. Endings but new beginnings. Those are an opportunity opening up. So I'm closing. You're not afraid. So you're going to jump out and do something new and decide you're not afraid to take a risk. Like he about to get in this ring with this alligator. Saying, fuck it. And nothing beats a blank but a try. So you need to go home and do you. I see emotional fulfillment and happiness here with this ten of cups. And I also see here plenty of offers that's coming your way. Uh, people have had meetings in regard to you saying that somebody's going to reach out to you soon. Somebody wants to work with you. They've been looking at you and they want to work with you and they're going to reach out to you soon in regard to that. They want to plant seeds in your life for prosperity and growth. And with y'all working together, it's going to bring a financial increase for the both of you. It is what it is. You're going to have emotional fulfillment and happiness. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, I'm supposed to be a blessing. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment to my channel. Remember, if you like your own personal reading with me, you can always call me at 347-227-5723. <laughs> Until next time, y'all have a blessed evening.